Hey Uplifters, welcome. Uh. <laughs> hey Uplifters, if you're new here, welcome. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification bell to be notified when every, every time I post. Um, that was a mouthful. Um, so, um, I don't know, I get nervous. Not nervous, but um, awareness videos can be um, a bit hard to do at times, um, but I know it has to be done. Um, so I wanna talk about incest. Um, first, I'm gonna just like, just bear with me because of course, um, everyone that knows my story, um, I'll post like my first video of me sharing my story. I'll post that in the description or in the eye or somewhere like that so you can watch it. Um, for all those that, have no, that know my story, like you know that I was, I was molested slash raped, raped by my uncle, um, my mom's brother. So um, yeah, just bear with me. And we're gonna get through this together for, you know, those that have gone through it, um, that are going through it, that are trying to um, heal from it. I'm, I'm healing as well. So um, just bear with me. Um, so um, for those that don't know, I'll have, I'll, I'm gonna have the definition. I'll read the definition of incest. Incest, sexual intercourse between people who are very closely related. That's the definition. Definition. Sorry, of incest. Um. Um, just like an overview of my story, but you can also look at the original video, my first video, and I'll leave it in the description. So, I was hurt. Everybody says hurt because it's like to actually come out and say or admit to being molested or raped by a family member it's hard or anyone is hard to do but in my case it's hard to actually even though like i bring awareness videos i've talked about my story i've done all this stuff it's still hard to openly say it but i was molested and i say slash because they classified it as molested um raped by my uncle my, like I said, my mother's brother, which of course, like who wouldn't want to trust their brother to watch their kids. But I've taken away from it that you can't trust anyone with your kids. First of all, um, no where it doesn't matter how you cut it or how much you think you trust someone, you just don't know what they're capable of doing. And that's how I, I feel about that. But, um, of course, I don't blame my mom for, like, <laughs> let my uncle watch me. I don't I don't blame her for none of that. It's just, yeah. But, um, so a backstory, of course, like I said, my, um, uncle raped me. Um, he did go to, to prison for what he did, and I thank God for that because, yeah, like, if you hurt some, like if you hurt a child or hurt anyone, you should be behind bars. And I feel like anyone that, I don't wanna like rant, but anyone that, that raped someone or molested someone, like I feel like they deserve to spend, it might sound harsh, but the rest of their lives in prison because you're taking away someone's like life. They will never be the same ever again. And it takes, oh, it takes a long time to heal. And it's like, can we fully heal from something like that? Because even though you're on, if me personally, you're on your healing journey, you're gonna go through those setbacks. You're gonna have flashbacks, bad dreams possibly. Just thinking about it, just to be depressed and the PTSD, all that stuff plays a role in someone's action of hurting you. And of course, it's not your fault. So yes, my uncle went to prison for what he did to me. As he should have. He, he, yeah, he deserved to go to prison. Um, I 
I've talked about like um, family secrets and this, this and that, but it's so hard. I feel like it's so hard for the victim slash survivor to actually talk about what they've been through. Because if you go through something and it's in your family, your family wants to either deny it, they don't want to talk about it, they want to sweep it under the rug, act like it never happens. And that's just that. They don't want to talk about it. I said, like, no one wants to talk about it. Um, everybody have their own reasons why they don't want to talk about it. It's awkward. It's uncomfortable. It makes you angry. Your emo like, different emotions. Because when someone is hurt like that, they're not... It's not just affecting the, the person that's hurt. It's affecting the whole entire family. Maybe. Or the immediate family. In my case, um, no one talks about it. So if no one talks about it, I didn't talk about it. And that's the gist of it all. We don't talk about incest. That's the word for word. If your uncle, if your brother, if your parents, if who, whomever that's in your family, your cousin has raped you or molested you, it's incest and it's wrong. Um, it's crazy and it's, it's, it's so weird and it's so sickening to know that a lot of families have gone through this and you just sweep in the rug. Of course you would never know because who talks about being raped by their, their uncle or it's like, we don't want to admit to it and we deny it. Or I'm not saying we personally, cause I talk about it freely because that's my story. And I'm entitled to talk about my story to bring awareness to what I've been through and what so many others go through. And and a lot of times families don't want to talk about the issues at hand, and that's incest and what someone in their family has done. And when you like, they of course, in like my case, my uncle stole my innocence. Yes, he went to prison for what he did, and yes, he did his time. But just because he did his time doesn't mean that um it's over because my healing journey didn't start till I accepted the fact that what happened to me. And I had to face the fact head, head on. Like I, I couldn't hide it, I couldn't deny it. It, it. You have to face the facts of what, what it is. And it's incest, it's bad, it's horrible. And I understand that it's hard to talk about. You don't wanna talk about it because it hurts so bad. It hurts so deep that Someone that you trusted, that you loved, hurts you in a way. And I'm not just speaking on my situation because I personally know people. I've talked to people. I've done stories where it's their family members that have hurt them. And um, I was recently in a seminar, well, maybe like a month ago, and it was dealing with incest survivors. And, you know, I shared my story well not shared my whole story but like the gist of it all like they asked questions and it was like i was on a platform and of course nervous as crap about the whole situation and um just actually talking about it and um i realized as i was um listening to others answer their questions and talk about it i just like i felt so not alone because there's so many people that have gone through what I've gone through. And it makes you feel like, of course it's never okay, but it makes you, you're in a comfort zone with people that are like you. And I wish that I had that when I was in elementary school, middle school, high school, because like I said, if you watch my videos, I never talked about it. Um, I never dealt with it um, until I pretty much had a a mental breakdown where I was just depressed, um, suicidal, um, and I didn't do anything but sit in my room, lay in my room. And I actually started going to counseling for it and started like the first, I think the first session I was like, my uncle blessed me. You know what I mean? That's the first time I actually admitted, said it out loud to someone else. Um, it's um, it's hard to do. 
And I feel like people that are victims or survivors of incest, abuse, um, I feel like sexual abuse, I feel like um, depending on how our family handle the situation is how we heal from the situation. Um, I say that because no, I don't blame none of my family members. I don't blame nobody for like what I went through because I have to go through what I have to go through for a reason and for a purpose. Um, but um, if older people that were, of course, in my life handled it di different, then I would have handled it different. You know, if someone would have just said, you know, hey, um, are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? Then it would have made me feel open enough to talk to them when I was going through what I was going through. Don't like blame nobody. I don't, none of that, but I'm just saying. It's all how it's played out in front of you. You know, if I was hurt by my uncle, didn't talk about it for years. Anytime I thought about it, um, I pushed it to the back of my head because who wants to talk about what their uncle did to them? Who wants to make the family mad when you actually want to talk about it you know what i mean like when i first when i fir made my first video I, of course i had so many people that supported me i'm grateful for that like my first video it was, it was you know it was amazing amazing but i'm pretty sure in the back of someone's head or mind or maybe they talked about it amongst themselves like why would she make a video about that why would she actually talk about that? That's old. That's this. That's that. You need to get over it. No, you can't get over someone that's in your family that has hurt you. Like, you can heal from it. You can grow from it. But how can you, like, get over that? You can't get over sexual abuse, but let alone somebody in your family that's actually doing it or did it. And I, I, like I said in my previous videos, um, the secrets and the shame and the this and the that when it comes along, when it comes down to the, the incest, like I felt like it was my fault. I felt like nasty. I felt like disgusting and one thing I could do to help myself is to not think about it and to to eat my feelings away. That's how I cope for the most part. And even the people that I, I was close with, I didn't talk about it to because it's weird. It's weird to actually come out your mouth and say, yeah, remember like with uncle so-and-so, uncle such and like, or mom dad like whatever someone's situation is it's, it's hard to actually talk about it's hard to actually deal with because it's family and family's never supposed to hurt you family's supposed to support you so family's supposed to protect you to be there to to just that but i feel like a lot of times family i'm gonna say like i'm not trying to like come off wrong, like I'm bashing someone, but I, sometimes it feels like family will support the abuser more than the victim or survivor of incest, sexual abuse. And that's hard to say because you would think that, you know, a child, innocent child is not their fault. And, you know, whatever the case is, but in the back of their head, they're even though they're not saying it, out loud but their actions and the way they treat you says otherwise and um i feel like if we bring more awareness if we talk about it more and it, it will it will help us as survivors um but it will also help the ones that have never been through it to know why why we advocate or why we're in this dark hole and why we don't like are just stuck in our i'm not gonna say ways but we're stuck at a standstill because we have to learn how to heal and if you don't it, it's it's so hard to even talk about like i said like i contemplated this video for a long time um contemplated for a long time um i kind of wasn't gonna do it 
Um, I prayed about it, of course, like I always do, like all my videos. And I know that I'm not the only one. And that makes me feel like, okay, you know that I know that I'm not the only one. And by me saying something about it, that I could possibly be helping someone else. That's why I keep on advocating. That's why I keep on making people uncomfortable. That's why I keep on doing what I have to do to like make it known that it's not okay for what happened and to be for it to be pushed under the rug and like, oh, it's it's fine. Like that's still your family. No. No. When someone is violated in a way like that, you can disown that person. You don't have to be around that person. You don't have to associate with that person at all. You could, if you're comfortable enough to be in a room with them or to be around them, you don't have to say nothing to them. You can act like they don't even exist. And that's exactly what I do. I remember one of the questions that um, was asked to me, um, how do you, I, I'm not like the wording of it, but pretty much asking like, how, how do you handle the situation if you're around your abuser? that family function and stuff like that. I'm just like, um, I act like they don't exist. <laughs> and that's and that's fine with me because I've been at a place. This is what I want to say to you. I was putting the right down notes, but I'm like, I want to talk freely from my heart. Um, After, I think I said in my in a video, or maybe not, or maybe at the, at the webinar, but um, I forgave my uncle for what he did to me. And, you know, I guess after I forgave them, it was okay for him to come around because he's family. And me, I was still uncomfortable with it, but I didn't say anything about it. I didn't say anything. I didn't vent how I, I didn't say how I felt because I didn't want to make anyone else mad. I didn't want to make anyone feel any kind of way about how I felt. Like I felt like I could just suck it up and just deal with it. I was around him. I actually talked to him. I actually, whatever the case is, this is my story. So it might sound weird. It is weird when I think about it. And um, I felt like it was okay because I forgave him. And if you forgive somebody, then you can just deal with them. Even if you don't like them, if you don't want to be around them, you can just suck it up. That's how I felt for a while. And I was actually around him. And so... Until I actually started my my YouTube video, my YouTube channel, sorry. My YouTube channel and I started healing and I started realizing that just because I forgive someone that hurt me so bad doesn't mean that I have to be around them. Doesn't mean that I have to say anything to them, that I owe them anything. I don't owe them nothing. I don't know, I don't owe my uncle anything. I don't owe my family anything. Why I don't talk to him or whomever is none of none of their business because this is my healing journey this is me this is my experience with it all so if i don't deal with somebody and i don't talk to them disrespect it you know what i mean like that's that's me this is this is my story this is my life so now i don't talk to him i don't look his way i think he don't exist because that's what i want to do so for those that have to or feel like they have to deal with family that have hurt them you you don't and i know sometimes we're stuck in a situation where we have to because of living arrangements or or whatever the case is you know what i mean but once you get out that situation and you're free from whomever you don't have to talk to them ever again if you don't want to. And you have to just be set on that. Um, and if you do want to talk, that's that's what you want to do too. Like, don't, don't be hard on yourself. Um, that's what it is. Don't be hard on yourself. Um, and it's a learning experience, more of a, it's a learning experience, it's a healing journey, it's, you want to go through those obstacles, you know, and I feel like talking about it to someone that you trust is important. Um, I know it's like a long video, but it's so more, it's so much 
to it. And like, I haven't spoken on everything, but that's like the overall view of how I feel and where I'm at. Um, and my story, my experience. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.